view was out for a bit of a hunt this afternoon. It's not going to be a huge one, but um, anyhow, uh, we had a heap of rain last night, so I thought I'd come out. I'll add uh, another video to this video. Why is there water coming out of that tree? What the hell? Might be a bloody possum having a piss. That's weird. Oh, anyway. Um, and I'm going to do a review on the Garrett Z-Link uh, wireless headphone system. Um, so hopefully you enjoy that. I won't bore you too much. I'll just give you a quick rundown on what's what with it. Um, I've had a few others in the past and I don't like being tethered to the machine all that much. So I just really want to hope, hope you know, to find a, a really good system that suits me and my machine. So stay tuned for that and uh, yeah, get on mate. I have found, I think, it's a little half penny that's been shot. So, um, weird mate. Heaps of little coins I've got out of here have got bullet holes in them. Well, anyway, we'll take it. It's a bit mangled, but righto. Tiny little silver. Yes. It is a tiny little silver. Oh yes, mate. It's a little frippy. And it is 1881. Look at that little sucker. See him alright? Yeah. 1881. Not bad, eh? That gave out a beauty. That would come up like a penny. 12.38, 12.39, that little sucker. Good target. Or is it 91? Don't know. But I'll take a picky for you, mate. Get on! Back here, viewers, got a bloody real nice one here. It's a bit sus, though, I'm not sure. 11.48, 11.47, got a little bit of depth about it, but just seems a bit scratchy, not as clean as a nice silver coin would come up normally. But then again, oh, who knows? So I'll set the tripod up and we'll have a bit of a look. Righto, bear with me. Sorry about that viewers, that only took about three hours to find, looks like an old um, bath plug, or a sink plug, are oh, you kidding me, I thought that was going to be a silver coin, right here. Back here viewers, this is day two of a hunt I started the other day, um, but what I wanted to do was a quick little review and my opinion on the uh, Garrett Z-Link wireless um, transmitter and um, receiver so it's the first time I've used this uh, particular particular one the last one I had I broke the headphones and yeah they were good but this just seems to uh, feel like a real solid unit um, so I've just mounted it there on the e-track I'll give you a bit of a look just above the arm cuff so it fits there all right. I don't know if that's where I'm going to keep it forever but at the moment it seems to be up and out of the way and um, everything seems to be good. The cable's nicely wrapped around underneath there where I keep my pin pointer. So that's really, really good. And just about zero delay I've noticed on this thing and really clear signal uh, and tone. And 
the receiver, I'll just keep in a little plastic bag in my pocket. I've got the uh, adapter there so you can use your favourite earbuds or, or you know your Apple iPhone earbuds or whatever ones you want to use. But um, they take any earphones or headphones, so just keep this in my pocket and uh, keep it in a bit of a plastic bag, keep the dust and all the muck off it. But at the moment, first uh, early reports, bloody brilliant. And it's meant to have a real good battery life too, up to 30 hours. So um, I've turned my volume right up on my machine and with this one I can back it off or or turn it up here. So um, really good so far. So we'll keep you posted and hopefully get a coin in a minute. Right on. Righto viewers, I'm just going to do a little um, test with the Garrett Z-Link system. There's a transmitter plugged in there. There's a little receiver. And I've got the little earbuds going up to the uh, GoPro, which is on at the moment. So hopefully that um, is uh, working all right. Let me just see. All right, so what I'll do is I'll do a t couple of tests. Let's see the delay. Radio. First coin, 1888 English penny. Let's have a look. Pretty good. Just about hardly zero delay. I can hear that just from where I'm standing. A bit faster. Slower. Here's a little English silver. I'll go slow. Pretty good. I can hear that from here and that sounds good. Hardly any delay. Let me just adjust this. So you can hear it alright. Little English silver again. Perfect. Now a little Aussie, threepence. 1988, I think it is. Really good, just about no delay whatsoever, I don't reckon. A bit quicker. A bit slower. And that little English one, 1891, this sounds nice, this little thing. So there you go. So hopefully that worked out all right, that little review. But um, the Garrett Z-Link system with the uh, transmitter and receiver, get on, mate. Thought that was going to be a coin for sure. Looks like a, some sort of button. Ah, bugger. Anyway, we'll keep looking. Righto. Good target. I'll get it with the GoPro.
thought that was going to be a coin for sure. Looks like a, some sort of button. Ah, bugger. Anyway, we'll keep looking. Righto. Back here, viewers. What a beautiful afternoon after all that rain we've had. Not a breath of wind, and it's absolutely stunning afternoon. Only about 20 degrees. Anyhow, this is going to be my last target. Twelve forty-one, I think it is. Or fifteen forty-one. It's a little coin, and it's actually <laughs> shut up. It's going to be a little silver. Pretty tough going today, had a bit of a look around over the back here. I've been here a few times before but we had a heap of rain last night so um, I thought it might liven things up a little bit. But I found two one cent pieces <laughs> and some fifth silver badgy thingy majiggy but this is going to be a little Aussie strippy. 19, 19. Hopefully you can see him okay. The GoPro doesn't focus, so what you see is what you get. But anyhow, not too bad. I'll take a picky of this one and I'm knackered, mate. I've got to go home. I think it's my turn to cook. Can't remember. I think. Right. This would definitely be the last one. 12.38, I think it is. Anyhow, I'll dig it all in one motion thing. Okay, I'll put that down and I think I roughly know where it is. Bear with me, I hate doing this, but anyway, you get the idea, don't you? Let's have a look. Okay, look at this. So it's in that plug. I reckon it could be a penny, this thing. 12.38. There it is, whatever it is. Hang on. No, it's not. Oh, it's a little silver. Hang on. <laughs> I'll be buggered. I thought that was going to be a penny for sure. You little rip. I'm not sure what it is. Is it Aussie? I think it is an Aussie. No, it's a little English. You bloody ripper, mate. Uh, uh, 1907, is it? I'm not sure. Let me see if I can zoom Arani in on him. That was all right. Uh, 1907. Get on, mate. Viewers, just a real quick one. Um, thanks for joining in. Um, this would be a combination of a couple of hunts just in the afternoon, went out and spent a few hours on each, so didn't really smash it, but I found a few targets, so that was nice. Um, also, I did a review on the Garrett Z-Link wireless headphone system, it was really good. I'm not paid by Garrett or sponsored by them or anything, I just was really after some good solid wireless system and that thing's a killer, so highly recommend it, works really well. So, um, thanks Lockie, hooking me up there couple of coins today uh, oh actually that was the other day that one 1891 little threepence found that little bugger just before 1907 I think it is so that was a nice little coin uh, a couple of little Aussie threepies 1918 and 1919 a bullet a silver button thing and a couple of brown buggers so um, yeah thanks for joining in it was not a bad sort of a day but uh, at least we got, got out and got a few targets and also a few people um, commented on what uh, little camera system I use. A lot of the times I use the phone, but I've been starting to go back to the old GoPro, which I'm pretty happy about. I can put the microphone on there and that blocks out all the wind noise. Um, so that's pretty good. Got that on the internet. I think it was about $8, that little um, uh, 
GoPro mount for the tripod and the little tripod is a Manfrotto Pixie Evo. Good little tripod, you can use it sort of for a selfie. The legs extend, it's really quite, really well made actually. Um, it's all fully adjustable, it's got a ball head there, it can collapse down that way so you can sort of do right angle filming but pretty good little vlogging camera or YouTube sort of camera, good setup so um, that's what I use out in the field anyhow so if you're interested there you go. Righto.